a bind exploit causes DOS attacks, an Android media server attack crashes phones, and tracking point sniper rifles have a wireless hack. All that coming up now on ThreatWire. Hello, I'm Shannon Morris and this is ThreatWire for July 31st, 2015, your summary of the threats to our security, our privacy, and internet freedom. A huge thanks to everyone watching this show and supporting us. We've got a lot coming up next week with Black Hat and DEF CON, so today's show is going to be a quick one. Let's get right into it with Bind, which is a popular software made to turn human talk domain names into IP addresses that computers can actually read. An example of this could be Google.com, which equals in DNS, IP address land 8.8.8.8. It turns out that it has a new vulnerability that can make a server running tons of domains crash. With the exploit labeled CVE 2015-5477, all an attacker would have to do is send a malformed piece of data to a server that is vulnerable, and then it would crash. <laughs> this would take down any sites running on that server, specifically bind nine DNS servers. Basically, in leet speak, this means that a packet exploits the handling of queries for TKEY records, which allows denial of service attacks to happen. Now, while Bind 9 is full of features and gives servers a really abundant use of resources, it is widely insecure, and many features shouldn't even be made available publicly via the internet. There is a patch available via the Internet Systems Consortium. There's a link in the show notes. I'll start off this second story by saying this isn't the same exploit as Stage Fright for Android that Darren reported on earlier this week. Android phones have a media server service, which is used to index media files, and the exploit can be used to make the phones crash or go into this vegetative state where you can't do anything with the device. An attacker would send a user to a website with a malicious file, or the user could install a malicious app with a bug. If a malformed video file using the Matroska container is open, which is basically how Android phones read .mkv files, for example, media server crashes, which in turn makes the entire phone crash. Now, there's a trend micro researcher. His name is Wish Wu. He said, quote, the vulnerability is caused by an integer overflow when the media server service parses an MKV file. It reads memory out of the buffer and writes data to null address when parsing audio data. This happens in 4.3 all the way up to 5.1.1. The vulnerability was responsibly disclosed to Google in late May, and a fix has not been released. And lastly, security researchers Runa Sandvik and Michael Auger have discovered a hack involving tracking points computerized sniper rifles, where a wireless connection built into the rifle could be exploited to change the scope's calculations and force a user to miss their target or shoot something completely different as well as disable the scope or disable firing itself. Now this is a $13,000 rifle. It's Linux powered to allow even a beginner to get a bullseye with the self-aiming product. The user is fully in charge of the manual trigger though. Now Tracking Point told Wired in an interview that they will work with the researchers to update the software and due to Tracking Point's financial instability at the moment, the researchers will not be releasing the full code for the exploit at this time. There are only a few thousand of these rifles in consumers' hands at this moment, but it is a little bit sombering to think that a weapon is vulnerable to this kind of attack. I'm slightly freaked out. Now, before signing off, I want to thank everyone for watching the show. Whether you're a patron at patreon.com slash threatwire or not, we really appreciate all of the sharing, all the commenting, and all the liking that you guys do on all the social networks. We've also got t-shirts available at hakshop.com if you want to sport a threatwire tee in RL. And we also have stickers. Now, we are not yet fully funded for three times a week, but we are on our way with your help. So if you want to support us via Patreon, Click the link below and find out all the details, and we would love to see your adorable fur babies as well. We love seeing these guys every week, so thank you so much for sending them in. Now, we are independent, we are completely ad-free, and we always will be. And of course, if you're going to be in Vegas next week for the Hacker Cons, swing by our booth over at DEF CON or the pool party at B-Sides LV Las Vegas, where we will be celebrating 10 years of Hack 5. I'm so excited. There will be cake. Now, with that, I'm Shannon Morse, and I will see you on the internet.